No matter how advanced a strike aircraft is, it will never reach its full potential if it's not backed by a skillful pilot and the technology that allows them to see where the enemy is. For this task, airplanes rely mostly on radars, and a potentially game-changing one just landed in the wild. The world will know the technology as the Phantom Strike, a product of defense contractor Raytheon. Announced a while back, the piece of technology was finally put through its first major test recently, as it was flown for the first time on an actual aircraft. The test was conducted at an undisclosed time over in Ontario, California, and involved Raytheon's main test aircraft, the so-called multi-program test bed, a converted Boeing 727 and the radar itself. The mission, whose details were not fully disclosed, had the radar track several airborne targets and map the terrain below it, tasks it apparently handled with great success. There are several reasons why Raytheon is working on a new kind of radar. The first would be the fact that the Phantom Strike comes with a faster and more agile beam, which allows it to detect targets from farther out, the actual range of this tech was not disclosed. Then, the radar is jamming resistant, comes with digital beam forming and steering, and it is capable of interleaved ground and air targeting. None of that is unheard of, but the defense contractor says this entire package comes at nearly half the cost of typical fire control radars with similar capabilities. The Phantom Strike is a gallium nitride-powered radar, fully air-cooled, and a first of its kind, as it is described. Compared to existing active electronically scanned array solutions, it is also the lightest such solution around, tipping the scales at just 150 pounds. That low weight makes it suitable for a great deal of airborne military platforms, including fighter jets, light attack aircraft, helicopters, and drones. Raytheon says the radar could just as well be installed on ground-based towers to increase defense capabilities and provide long-range threat detection, tracking and targeting. There is no timetable set for the deployment of the Phantom Strike, but the defense contractor says the radar is already being produced in three locations, two in America and one in Europe. To get a better sense of what the radar is capable of, the company that makes it put together a video showcasing its capabilities. Granted, it's not real footage of the tech in action in the real world, only a carefully crafted CGI clip based on a rather creative scenario, meant to put things into perspective, but it gets the job done.